What is going on, Pixelings? We are here with the unboxing of the Nintendo 3DS XL in red. Look at that, baby. Look at this thing. Right there. Yes, this is the box. 9% larger screens, guys. 7 plus 3D. Mm-hmm. All right, we got we got some warnings on the box here. We we got we got we got it saying red and black. Yes, it's got to clarify. It's red and black. This is Nintendo. We got the back here. We got 90% larger screens. We got the stuff that's inside the system itself there on the bottom. Some information, new dimension entertainment. How about we just get inside this box and see what we got? All right. I already uh, broke some of the tabs, so I can just get in real quick. All right, let's see here. There we go. Ta-da! All right, this is the goodies inside. We we got the the pamphlet of goodness. Yes. We got the AR cards. It doesn't come in that little foldable package anymore, I guess. Just the cards. Whatever. All righty. We got the Club Nintendo goodness. We got the quick start guides. Yep. Different languages. Spanish and French and English. All goodness. All right. Let's see this thing. Look at this manual. This hunk of, this hunk of a manual. Oh yeah. You gotta love manuals. All right. Let's let's see what we got. We got the charger here. The North American version of the 3DS XL comes with the charger. Even though the European ones and the J Japanese ones don't come with chargers. For some reason, Nintendo wanted, didn't want to do that. It's like the same exact one as the original Nintendo 3DS. It's got the little foldable thingy going on. Got the plug. 3DS XL doesn't come with a cradle either, so I never used the cradle, so I don't really care about that. But let's get to the Nintendo 3DS XL itself. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. This is a beast. All right, let's pull it out. See what we got. Oh, look at that color. It's like a ruby red. It's delicious. Hmm. Oh, the back is red too. See? Oh, it's, it's got fingerprints. Little fingerprint action going on. Pretty nice looking. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. We got the giant screen. 90% larger. On both screens, actually. So that is some. Hey, look, you can see me in my 3DS. Hey, guys, what's going on? All right, we got the 3D depth slider here going on. It actually has a little click feature, so you know when it's actually off. Because sometimes you can accidentally hit it on the original 3DS, and it might be on a little bit, and you don't even notice it. Buttons. Got, got little clicky buttons. A little kind of mushy, a little bit, but still clicky. Got the D-pad. Circle pad. Just got to get that worked in the circle pad. Let's see how these uh, shoulder buttons are. The ones on the 3DS were tiny. These ones are actually a little bit bigger now. So that's good. You got the charging port. Got like the, whatever you want to call it. You got where you put the games in. And then what's this? Oh, the volume. It's a little bit thicker of a volume button controller thingy. They move the microphone or the headphone jack over to the side here instead of in the middle. See here we got the stylus right here. I like having it on the side better instead of having it up on the top. Just more easy access. You can just go boom. Like in the Nintendo DS Lite. Alrighty. So we got the wireless button. Also it comes with a 4 gigabyte SD card which is pretty awesome. The original Nintendo 3DS only came with a 2 gigabyte, so 4 gigabytes is even better. More stuff to hold on to this bad boy. This thing is gigantic. This thing is awesome. I'm loving it. Alright, let's see what else we got. Alright. Actually, I'm really digging the color of this bad boy. It's looking pretty nice, but it's kind of showing off on the fingerprints. You can see that right there. Might be just because of some moisture, but nevertheless. The inside is not going to really show much fingerprints because it's more of a matte finish. The outside is too, more of a matte finish, but yeah, this thing is looking pretty beastly. Look at this baby. Huge screens. It's got the clickable, uh, oh, they're, they're pretty mushy, actually. The start, select, and home buttons are pretty mushy. I thought they would be more clicky. 
Guess not. It's got a pretty big home button. So yeah, I guess that will wrap up our unboxing of the Nintendo 3DS XL. Forgot to, I also forgot to mention it has the second little clicky thing where you can just keep it in this pose right here. Or you can go all the way back. They've added that little feature. Having another little click. So yeah, they added that. So yeah, that will bring us to the end of this unboxing of the Nintendo 3DS XL, guys. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe for more videos in the future and news and rumors for the 3DS and the Wii U. But I'll talk to you all later in the next video, guys. Bye!